From Gaussian blur to recording audio straight into the app, here are some few features that TuneSquid could really do with. To the developer, this video is for you. So at the moment, the only editing options you can animate is freeform and uniform, but how cool would it be if you could animate perspective and warp? I think this would be great and would benefit a lot of animations. So in an update a while back, ToonSquid added this ability to do markers, where basically you can animate things and have a few markers to select from. But how cool would it be if they make it so you can do keyframe markers? So for example, say you have a mouth that looks like that. How cool would it be um, if you could animate it with markers to look like this instead? Just as an example. But yeah, I think it means you can have one drawing, one layer, and do all these different markers. So this is going to be one of my favorite. How cool would it be if you could record audio straight into the app? Like at the moment, all you can do is, extra um, is extract it from files, which um, gives you a lot of tedious work like recording it into voice memos or something else and exporting it into ToonSquid. But with this, you could get quick um, audio straight into the app for like voiceovers and stuff. And it would just be overall way easier. Anyone who's familiar with using Procreate knows that you can do colour adjustments. And I think colour adjustments would be really cool in ToonSid because at the moment you can't really change bitmap unless you're using the fill tool. And although you can change it with vector, um, like um, with keyframes, you can't really do different um, brightnesses or contrast. And I think especially for bitmap photos, that would be really, really cool. Finally, one more idea that I really like the sound of is being able to add transitions into videos. For example, if you have a layer and a drawing, if you have another drawing over here, if you could add a transition in between them, like something you could drag in almost like brushes and you can drag it in between the drawings. And um, I think that would be really cool because at the moment, if you want to make like a fading transition, you have to mess around with opacity and stuff, which um, is quite tedious. But yeah, I think as a final thing that Tunes could add, this would be really cool. Thanks for reaching the end of the video. If you think any of these features would be useful to have in ToonSquid, like the video so the developer of ToonSquid can find it. Thanks again for watching.